Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about El Salvador and Bitcoin. El Salvador officially is the first country in the world to accept Bitcoin as legal tender to buy everything. And I'm talking everything. We're talking about real estate, groceries, gasoline, even to pay the taxes to the government of El Salvador using Bitcoin. This is what all the Bitcoin investors, all the Bitcoin enthusiasts were waiting for. It is already happening. It is here officially. And I'm very, very bullish on Bitcoin. So I'm going to go over the technical analysis as well as the fundamental stuff. But there's actually more, guys. El Salvador has also decided to give a lot of tax incentives to a lot of crypto investors, crypto entrepreneurs, uh, so they can kind of bring them into the country to start creating a lot of cryptocurrency stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go over the details on that uh, because this is going to create a dom domino effect and, and, and avalanche of countries, especially Latin American countries who are struggling with inflation to get into the Bitcoin uh, uh, you know, scene and really start using this currency to really help manage their inflation. So I'm going to go over the details, guys. Like I mentioned, the technical analysis and the fundamental analysis. Now, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. I do appreciate the support, guys. Now, let's get started. And let me share my screen, all right, guys? So what I'm going to do really quickly, guys, I am going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you a chart of Bitcoin. Now, this is the futures uh, of Bitcoin futures. And this is a one-year chart. There was this really big pullback from 65,000 all the way to 30,000, or actually close to 30,000. Actually, did hit 30,000, but it did have some support here. The 200-day moving average. Now, the 200-day moving average is a very, very important support area because pretty much it's telling you that around 30,000 is really the average price of Bitcoin in the last 200 days. And investors like to buy in that area because it's a really good average area to get in. Now, after the news came out, which it actually did come out on, on Tuesday, uh, June 8th, which is actually this day, you could see the buyers stepping in and pushing the price of Bitcoin. You know, and we're talking from the lows of uh, 31000 all the way to 40000 We're talking about a $10,000 move in literally uh, in a week, and actually less than a week. So one, two, three, four, five days. So the Bitcoin is moving. There's volume coming in, as you can tell, in the, in, the, uh, in the volume area and also in the price action. Now, there's more to it, and, and, you know, in terms of why this is important, because overall, guys, the whole purpose of Bitcoin is for Bitcoins to start being used as a legal tender to actually to, to buy and sell stuff. And again, El Salvador has already made it official. So this is huge. This is really, really huge. Now, what I also want to show you guys is actually the actual news. Now, El Salvador becomes first country to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. Now, El Salvador will adopt a Bitcoin as legal tender in the country, becoming the first country in the world to formally embrace the volatile cryptocurrency as such. The Latin American country Congress voted overwhelmingly in favor of a law late Tuesday. Now, this is a Tuesday, June 8th, pushing forward. Salvadoran uh, President Nayib Bukele's proposal, the 39-year-old politician party holds a supermajority in El Salvador's Congress. Uh, so pretty much that's, and, and that's pretty much what happened. So why this is important is because the U.S. dollar is the country's official currency in El Salvador economy. The Salvador economy depends heavily on money sent back abroad. Now, a lot of the money uh, that, that the country of El Salvador depends on is people who work in the U.S., who send money to their family and relatives in El Salvador. Uh, and according to the World Bank, these so-called remittances uh, to the country make up around 6 billion or almost 20% of his gross domestic uh, product in 2019. Um, on Sunday, Bukele, which is the president of El Salvador, tweeted that a huge chunk of that 6 billion is lost in intermediaries who take a cut of the financial transaction in dollars. Instead, he believes Bitcoin could be the fastest growing way to transfer $6 billion a year in remittances. According to president, uh, the president, 70% of El Salvador's population lacks access to traditional financial services. Bukili said Bitcoin could improve financial inclusion and access to wealth in a desperately poor nation. How it works. 
Bitcoin as a legal tender can be used in any transaction and business will have to accept that payment form. According to the legislation, the law also states that tax contributions can be paid via Bitcoin and exchange in the cryptocurrency will not be subject to capital gains. That is huge. And that's actually what I want to talk about. Now, this is the... Uh, this is the, pretty much the, the Twitter handle for uh, the president of El Salvador, Nagy Bukele. I highly recommend you to follow him if you are a crypto investor, especially if you're an investor in Bitcoin. Now, they're trying now to actually lure in investors in the, in the um, I guess you could say, they're trying to lure in investors in crypto and entrepreneurs in crypto. So pretty much uh, the, the, the president is saying, uh, Great weather, world-class serving beaches, beachfront properties for sale. One of the few countries in the world with no property tax. So there's no property tax in, in El Salvador. And there's, there's going to be no capital gains tax for Bitcoin since it will be a legal currency. Immediate permanent residence for crypto entrepreneurs. This is huge. This is huge. So, and the reason why this is important, guys, is because this is going to create an avalanche of entrepreneurs, an avalanche of crypto investors from all over the world to take advantage of this and move to El Salvador and start building and creating their, uh, their, their businesses all revolving in crypto, all revolving in Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. So that's pretty much why this is important because it's going to cause other countries to do the same, especially in Latin America. So uh, let me show you guys some more information because this, this is very, very important stuff. So um, in terms of why this is important is because El Salvador is not the only country who uh, receives a lot of remittances, meaning money that's, that's been sent from people who, you know, their residents who live in the U.S. and they send money, U.S. dollars to their Latin American countries so they can support their family members. You know, there's a lot of Latin American countries. Mexico is another one. Uh, Paraguay, uh, Venezuela, there's a lot of countries who do that already. So just to kind of even give you an example, I, why this is important, you know, um, you know, in, in terms of, oh, actually, he just tweeted this. Uh, and, and let me see. Google search El Salvador real estate when, look, this is it. Check the real estate in El Salvador. Now, this is actually his twi Twitter handle. Um, you know, Google searches for El Salvador real estate went to the moon after the, and the nation adopted Bitcoin. So a lot of people are already looking into this to buy real estate over there. Uh, so look at this, this uh, tweet right here. Last May, Bitcoin remittance is transferred under $1,000 from El Salvador's working abroad and sending money home was $424,000. We're talking about um, in May. This, this, and that's last year, May 2020. This May, it was $1.7 in Bitcoin. So people were already using Bitcoin, but again, now that it's legal tender, now it's going to increase the, 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 uh, the uses and, and adaptability, which is really, really big. Now, in terms of what countries that are next, you know, this, I read this article is really, really important. You know, it was actually posted uh, last week on Thursday. More countries will line up to make Bitcoin legal tender. Which ones will be next? So we're, st we're talking about which countries could be next. Now, a lot of them are Latin American countries. And the reason why they're Latin American countries is because they use the U.S. dollar uh, and they set the U.S. dollar in their countries uh, because they have a lot of remittances. You know, a lot of people who live in the U.S. from these Latin American countries, they send to the family member. So a lot of these, these, these countries could benefit from using Bitcoin to save money on the, on the, on the, on the, on the cost, you know, they, they use, when they use Western Union and things like that. So, Paraguay. This landlocked nation, often in the shadow of, of its wealthier neighbors, has already declared itself intent on forming an alliance of financial inclusion with other South American countries, and Bitcoin appears to be high in the government's agenda. Congressman Carlos Rejala is expected to pass a bill in July through Ascension with the, main, the, the aim of attracting cryptocurrency companies to Paraguay. Again, similar you know, things that uh, then, then El Salvador is doing, that may happen in, El pa the, in Paraguay. If passed, it will only take a second bill in October to have Bitcoin officially recognized. Uh, so this is pretty huge. Now, Panama is another one. The tiny country of Panama has always punched well above its weights in terms of economy, thanks to large, largely to its geography, which takes the, the link chain between South and Central America. It has played a key role in the world's shaping movements with a monumental feat of engineering um, in, in terms of the shape of the Panama Canal. 
Uh, and let me see where's where this alone in the future world. And, not to play down on Salvador's bull step, but if Panama became the next Bitcoin nation, the world will really sit up and take notice. Bitcoin has, has widespread support from among Panama political parties. Several politicians were quick to respond to Salvador's news, with Congressman Gabriel Silva all but demanding Panama quickly follow the neighbor's lead. He, he tweeted, this is important and Panama cannot be left behind. If we want to be a true technology and entrepreneurship hub, we have to support cryptocurrencies. A proposal is expected to assemble by the next month. Now, Mexico, huge, the, the biggest, one of the biggest, uh, of course, Latin American uh, in terms of uh, wealth, uh, it's Mexico. Mexican politicians are keen to move the country and its economy forward as well as possible. Legislation over cannabis, leg or over cannabis in the last couple of years have paved the way for wider talk on Bitcoin. Early last year, there have been discussion for proposals of a national cryptocurrency for Mexico, but the balance of thinking has now shifted towards Bitcoin, particularly after El Salvador's politicians began the process of adopting it in early 2021, which is, of course, this, this, uh, this June. Talks are in the pipeline, and it should be just a matter of time before an agreement is in place to bring motion to discussion in the Mexican parliament. Venezuela. And Venezuela is another one. The financial world looked on creation when Venezuela unveiled. Now, Venezuela had its own cryptocurrency in 2018 called Petro Moneda, but it hasn't done as well. And of course, Bitcoin is another one that could really do good. Now, Brazil, although steeped in history and tradition, Brazil is often considered innovative. It has a strong business community and its crypto and block entry conference and summits are well supported by the government. Many elected ministers within the quarters of power are also quite young with a handful of tech entrepreneurs taking seats. Again, Brazil is a country which has made its desires known about the prospect of national cryptocurrency, but officials in Brasilia are said to be keen on the idea of being part of Bitcoin conglomerates stretching across South America. It is believed are already being drafted and could be, bills are already being drafted and could be brought to the government by the end of this year. Nicaragua, several politicians in the small Central American Republic have already sounded their horns in support of El Salvador. In fact, many analysts were surprised that Managua hadn't declared his intention to make Bitcoin legal tender already. Such was a narrative among 6.5 million population. However, now that his neighbor has crossed the line, it could be just a spark that Nicaragua needed. And again, guy, this is going to cause a domino effect. One key component to look out here is that if the U.S. adopts a rhetoric or potentially posing sanctions on El Salvador for making legal tender out of Bitcoin, that popular view in Washington appears to be that Bitcoin is a threat to the power of the U.S. dollar. And it really is. But again, there's no stopping Bitcoin. Given historically negative relationship between the two nations, that alone might be enough to, to whet the Nicaraguan appetite. Now, now let's see Argentina. For many financial experts, Argentina represents something of a curious enigma. It is a huge country with impressive approach to economics, technology, and education. I was a time again, it struggles to make all three of them harmony. Now, cryptocurrency is among is popular among this 50 million population. And there have been discussions, even open talks in government about Bitcoin. Ministers uh, are keen to adopt and are willing to move it, but the old guard and the old ways tend to puncture the tires of enthusiasm. Pe the people are willing, but often are a baddie, politics, sleeping giants, so to say, so the same way. So Argentina, of course, the politics of Argentina are always uh, very interesting. Now, Malta. Malta is the only country outside of Central and South America with the potential and ability to, to make Bitcoin, Bitcoin legal tender anytime soon. Now, Malta, uh, this remod remarkable Mediterranean ar archipelago has been the European vanguard blockchain and cryptocurrency in the last few years with the government as welcoming, welcoming of the tech as its people. Malta's population has risen dramatically since 2018 when hundreds of tech companies and thousands of employees made a beeline to it, largely attracted by tax breaks and benefits to the industry. While any move towards making Bitcoin legal tender will certainly be frowned upon by the EU leaders, Malta has long made it its discomfort with a year on well known and was a supporter of the UK's decision to head for the Brexit door. It may well be that Brussels could pull the rug from under Valletta, but it might not be the non-starter for Silver Service to believe. <clears throat> Independence, of course, Independence courses through the veins of the Maltese people and moves are already afoot to bring Bitcoin to the forefront of financial discussions over the next 12 months outside of Latin America. This is the one to watch.
Malta. So pretty much guys, this is huge. You know, El Salvador being the first country in the world to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. Again, like I mentioned, it's only going to cause a domino effect. A lot of the Latin America uh, countries that we just talked about, Latin American countries, there, it looks like it's going to be the, they're going to be the first. A lot of because of remittances, a lot of people in the U.S. from those countries send money back to their, their family uh, so they can support their family. And converting and using Bitcoin is going to save millions and millions of dollars uh, to a lot of these countries. So hopefully all this makes sense, guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to YouTube channel. I hope you guys to hear from you guys soon. Uh, and you guys will hear from me soon. So, hey, take care, guys. Have a good one. Till next time.